we had Charlotte Flair Ooh. in that same seat talking about her taking criticism mm-hmm. for being the head of the women's yep. division, being the standard for women's wrestling. And with the good mm-hmm. comes the bad. All the bad. More bad. More bad. Yep. We see more bad than we see good. Yep. And sometimes the bad tastes a little bit tart more oh, than it's the good. Brutal. It's you, brutal. Yeah. And it's it's mentally taxing. It is taxing. Yes. Now, with that comes pressure, like we always say, mm-hmm. pressure. I would, <laughs> me personally, compare y'all to, to each other's brands. Mm-hmm. WWE is Charlotte Flair. I would say AEW, Britt Baker. Mm-hmm. You're on the face of a lot of things. You, um, you know, you promoting the video game. You're doing a lot of that. With all that comes a lot of hate. Mm-hmm. Boom. With all that comes a Ooh. lot of hate. It comes a lot of ridicule. It comes a lot of like you know like little like jabs and everything like that. How do you handle that? Because we asked Charlotte the same thing mm-hmm. when we're here. I'm going to ask you the same thing. Yep. With being the standard and dealing with that and dealing with these people and being in this situation. So I. I do consider myself the face of the women's division, and that yeah. that's a job and that's a priority. So me doing what I do at TV every week, you know, I'm I'm it, me being on TV. That's a presence. I I one of the top stars in the division, but I'm I'm do I'm doing all these outside things that are given to me and hitting home runs left and right. I they if you send me the comic cons and comic that's what I'm saying. Comic cons mm-hmm. not only going to be in a comic con, I'm gonna network and and be meet this person that person and be like hey have you heard of aw because let me tell you all about this and then next thing you know we have john crease from cobra kai showing up with me at mm-hmm. aw dynamite it, yeah. i'm taking advantage of every single opportunity but and and i do get compared to charlotte all the time on twitter which like for me i'm like okay cool one of the best women's wrestlers of all mm-hmm. times that you're so mean for calling me that right Ooh. no right. <laughs> but it's it's people don't understand the the constant pressure that comes with all the hate that you get. And it's like, we are people. And I think on Twitter, they dehumanize us like, Oh, we're just wrestling characters, but we're not, we're people. And this is our job. And we want to do, we want to be like everybody in the world. You want to be good at your job Mm -hmm. and you're doing everything you can to not mess up. And sometimes you still might, but the next day you're working 10 times harder to make sure you don't make those same mistakes because we're human. So being with the face of the vision, you're under a microscope. No matter what you do, what you're saying, everybody has you under a microscope and they are looking for the any apart. second to twist and turn your words to, you know, watch a match and, and all of a sudden they know it all. They're like, Oh, I see what happened right there. Britt did this wrong because she did that wrong and then she went to Tony and told Tony this, this, this and this and then that's why this happened. No. It's not. It's like this was written three weeks ago, and this. It, but it's you know you you can't you can't let that get in your brain, or you will drive yourself insane. Because I have, I have, and, and you know I've, it's take talking to people like Chris Jericho, like Tony Schiavone, like like Tony Khan to just say like do not listen to Twitter, get it out of your head. It's not real. Listen to your coworkers, listen to your peers, listen to the people you look up to in wrestling, listen to the fans. Like we talked to, we asked Charlotte the same question. We was like, "Who do you talk to that's not in wrestling about wrestling, or about dealing with this same stuff?" I so it's hard because I I talk to my friends who are who still watch wrestling, so they're not they're not, they're in, not technically in. They yeah. understand what's going on is for like kind of, but they they don't know the the nuts and bolts and the inner workings, which which is good for <laughs> me. Is like it's the best kind of advice I can go to because, you know, they're fans and they, they like what they like and they can recognize a good product and a bad product and they're brutally honest because they're your friends, but they're not, like, all up in the backstage drama and this and that and the politics, so it's cool. You get a very, like, unbiased opinion. 